What is up? Hi everyone. My name is Joey Morin of Morin Visual Design and I am a professional illustrator. I've been drawing all my life and I thought I would start a tutorial series to help people learn how to draw. But I wanted to call the series like how I draw because I have certain techniques, tips, tricks, what have you, that I use to get from A to B to get to the finished product. And so what I'll do start with is I'll, I'll give you guys a little bit of a slideshow to show you my qualifications. These are images that I've recently painted. I painted this about four or five years ago. It's with airbrush and a paintbrush, acrylic paint over top. Same with this tiger. And um, I did that on a leather jacket for my dad years and years ago. This is a pen color pencil drawing. I use Prismacolor pencils. It's about two and a half inches by six, six inches tall. This one, I know the picture is big, but it's actually pretty small. It's about, it's about two by two. And uh, this is a digital uh, illustration. And this is a monogram. This is a, just with the intricate designs that all throughout the letters of my initials and a self-portrait. I wanted to call the show How I Draw because I have certain ways of doing things. I wasn't classically trained. I just got better at drawing over the years. Some of these tips and tricks that I'm going to show you, uh, I actually learned from one of my main mentors in my life. His name was Douglas Van Asselstein. And he taught me, what is a drawing made of? It's, it's made of uh, lines, angles, shapes, and color. Uh, basically, those are the four things. Um, and when you get to the point of high realism, you won't even have lines. You'll just have um, what, I, what he used to call where color meets color. That's your line. That's realism. Um, and so I want to impart this knowledge to you so you don't have to take, I'm 48 years old now, you don't have to take 48 years to figure it out. You could probably figure it out in 48 days. Uh, just honestly, just, just by remembering these little things that I'm about to show you. So um, this is the image I chose to work from. And I don't want you to be intimidated. It's something that uh, I've done a lot of these. I've done a lot of wolves. I understand a lot about how to how to map it out. And I, and I know you're looking at it and thinking, well, I can't draw a wolf. Like, you know, I, maybe you're thinking I can only draw stick figures. That's okay. Because um, the techniques and tips that I'm going to show you, you'll be able to map out a drawing like this wolf. No problems. You got to like take it down to the, to the, the basics. And you'll see that you can piece together this drawing pretty easily. I'm going to do my drawing on uh, an illustration program called GIMP. You can get this program for free. It's very comparable to Adobe Photoshop. And you just go to uh, gimpgimp.org and you can get a free download of this, of this software. I use it all the time for when I'm sketching online on a digital in a digital platform. So I'm using a Wacom tablet with a stylist. Uh, so if you're, if you don't have that kind of technology and you're, do, you're working from paper and pencil, um, I will try to explain how you would approach what I'm doing in that medium. Okay. So now the idea obviously is to understand what I mean by the four elements of drawing. So a stick, stick man. Okay. You draw a circle, ugly. It's all angles, right? It's just lines to make up the body. If you want to like it, but if you want to have like a perfectly round head in order to do that, and you use this kind and you use this concept for any other thing you're about to draw, you just, you, you, you find angles that, that come together to make the circle. It's almost like you're trying to draw like a stop sign, but you know, or, or but we're both like 16 sides instead of eight. But just angle, 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 just bring it around and just making little marks until you feel like it's round enough. Don't worry about making it messy. It doesn't matter. The idea is to find the angles and shapes to make it look round like you can. Then what you can do is you just come in with an eraser and just clean up, take out some things that don't that stand out to you. The idea is to like imagine in your head what 
you're trying to do. So I want this circle to be as round as possible. So now, now that I've etched in a basic circle, I'm going to go a little darker. This is what a beginner, what I would recommend a beginner to do. Instead of trying to go perfectly round circle like that, like I did in the beginning, um, you know, that you might get lucky. You might be able to draw a perfect circle first try, but, but if you just etch, etch little bits at a time, and if you don't like it, go back and erase it and try again. And um, like, I, like I was saying, if you're working on paper with pencil, use a light pencil, like an H, and be careful not to press too hard. Just You're just making a very light, like you should, you should almost be like um, hardly seeing anything, anything at all. And just um, imagine in your head what a perfect circle looks like and make it come to life, just angles. Just, and then you just come in, you can clean up, and then you can go for the body straight down it's, it's just practicing making marks and now you could take all that all that information and you can apply it to the wolf and you're probably thinking whoa whoa you're jumping to the wolf already yeah let me explain all right so now we've drawn our stick figure and now we want to try and uh, uh, draw something from that wolf let's let's draw the eye so i'll bring this thing down same idea okay i'll leave the stick figure there same idea the left eye um, on our left okay i see a triangle so i'm going to put an angle like this i'm going to put an angle like this and one down like that okay and what i do okay how i draw is i look left and right i look at the at the subject matter and then my picture back and forth back and forth it's um it's a concept that you, you may have seen online those optical illusions where they say stare at the dot in the middle of this image and then when you're done immediately switch to the white block it'll just make the image appear for a few seconds in the white block um you can literally look back and forth this is what i do this is exactly what i do i look back and forth and if i notice that the angle isn't right like i notice right away that i need to curve this so i'm going to put an angle like this i'm seeing in my left i'm looking back and forth back and forth back and forth and I'm just taking little mini snapshots of my brain and I'm looking what stands out that doesn't match the image that's there compared to the image I'm drawing. And then I notice, okay, well, it needs an angle here. Start closing in that eye and then it needs an angle up here. And then as you, just the same way you did with the stick, stick man, you come in, you clean up, you angle, 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 till you get a nice round eye, okay? You come around the top, same thing angles just little angles little sketches little uh, scratches coming down like that okay and then you notice that it's got some shading under the eye like there we'll figure out the details of what you know how to draw all the anatomy of the eye in, you know later in the video i just want to show you how what i do to you know i just don't want you to be intimidated when you think oh he's drawing a wolf it's you don't I, you want to build up in multiple layers you want to start with scratches and, and and that's why I said if you're working on upon paper where you you're going to reach a point of no return where your marks are going to stay and, and no matter no amount of racing is going to help you so you want to work very gradual um, if you're if you're working with acrylic paint uh, that dries fairly quickly you can go over top of of an of a area that you don't like with some white and fix it and keep going and so and now I'm looking at above the eye there's like a little area. So I'm just going to draw the, I'm going to draw this, this angle that I see here. And like I said, I'm always looking back and forth. I'm looking to make sure that my angle is correctly drawn in. And is it done at the right height? I, I'm, I noticed I started up here and then I saw, no, it's a little lower. Because uh, I'm making snapshots with my brain. I'm looking at the wolf's eye and back and forth and back and forth. And I'm like, okay, that didn't match. So I got to fix that right away. And then you just do a little mark. Just a little darker mark to make sure it fits. And then same thing. There's an angle that comes out from the side like that and then it comes down and then there's like an angle goes up like this and I'm, now i'm just making big fat scr scratches to kind of give you an idea of what that fur pattern might look like same thing it comes it comes down like this and then it comes and then it comes in and there's just like that see how i, I it, you can't deny that it's already starting to look like a wolf and all it is, is just a bunch of scratches um it's very impressionistic at the moment but we'll get there you know we'll, we, and so that's the idea okay you take you take your uh, 
subject matter. Like I've, if you went and looked up a circle and just tried to draw a circle, make that an exercise. Um, and use the, use the technique that I said just to start. You might even start with like a circle that's like, that's like this. And you're like, oh, that's wrong. That's not a circle. So what you need to do is um, look back at your subject matter and add in new angles and scratch marks to make that circle better and, del and start to erase the parts you don't like. Okay? And then same thing down here. It's a little too low, so I'm going to bring my angles in this way and start cleaning it up. And this is a good exercise for you to do is if you can make a circle using this technique, you can make an eye, you can make it the wolf's ear, you can make the whole wolf's head, actually. You can do everything like that. So, and then you just start, then you can start having fun. You just, when now you notice that the wolf's eye's shape is there, let's etch in the little the pupil, start to get some realism. And you can have some fun and just start, start making like scratchy marks for the fur. If we're just going for an impressionism, then, then we can do that. Scratch, scratch, scratch. We're filling in, I'm looking back and forth, studying my subject matter, and I'm just going to town. And when, when you, if you're working online with a digital, it, it's that easy. You can literally just, and if you don't like something, you can quickly fix it. Like, and you'll get better over time. Like, I, I have an ability to draw this eye. I could draw this wolf's eye in a minute um, because I've done, done it many times. It's practice, you know what I mean? Practice makes perfect. So that's, that's what you have to do. You just gotta, you gotta practice and, 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 and want to do, see, I'm fixing the eye. I'm noticing that it's more, he's not as wide eyed as I thought he was. And so I'm fixing it. And I, and I think it's a male wolf. That's my opinion. And I'm sticking to it. And so that's basically it. So that's all I wanted to talk about today. I just wanted to show you a few tips and tricks on how to, how to, how to start strategizing your drawing just with basic angles shapes you know start to scratch in an impression and um don't forget take those mini snapshots with your brain look back and forth at the subject matter to your page subject matter to your page until you can almost see like your brain will do it trust me your brain will take the image and it'll project it onto the page eventually and you'll start to start to do you start to you start to mimic what your brain's trying to trying to image onto the page just by doing little scratch marks and if you don't like an angle when you're looking back and forth and you see it fix it right away and you're going to be good okay so that's that's today's lesson and i hope you enjoyed it and uh I'm gonna, i'll make the next one coming up soon and we'll 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 take this eye to the next level we'll start to and we'll work on some fur patterns and um i hope you enjoyed it and i hope, hope you learned something and until next time, be good.